Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your October 2019 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Make sure you check all your signs. This is not all the messages will resonate with just your sun sign. So let's get your card of focus for the month here. Oh, that one flew out of there. Happy, happy. Well, that's a nice change of uh, course for the Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is serendipity. Clarified with mending. Finally, getting over some heartache. Bringing in more happier times. Let's see what the book has to say about this card. So it says, joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied in the things that are. You're free from shackles and longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment, for you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. There are movements in a relationship when you just feel good about whom you're with and whom you know your heart is wide open. To befriend, to love, and care for another without w wanting anything in return. This is the kind of happy that you just want to share. The appearance of this card in a reading tells you that the joy and contentment are here now, not somewhere else or off in the future. The grass is greenest where you stand. Be grateful and delight in your relationships. And if you're seeking one, be happy now. Happiness attracts more of itself like bees to honey. All right, Sagittarius, you froze on me, so I'm going to have to patch this together. Um, and we will start over here because I'm not sure how far into the reading I was when it froze. So I'm just going to patch in your Oracle card, which was happy, happy, and we will go from there. So, all right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love in October, 2019. All right. In your past position, you have the four of swords. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. The Hermit. The Seven of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Moon and the Influence of Others. In your advice, you have the Page of Pentacles. And in your potential outcome, you have the Devil in Reverse. All right. Actually, that's pretty good, Sagittarius. Um, the first reading I did was not very good, so I'm glad that this came out the way it did. Bottom of the deck in what's unknown to you is the Ten of Cups, clarified with the Three of Cups in reverse, and Judgment. So you're stuck at the moment. You are trying to make plans for the future that in involve another person, a partnership of some kind. This can either be a soulmate in love or a spiritual partner in business. Um, for some of you, but either way, it's going to bring you love and stability. Um, if it's if it's within a relationship, this does look like it is heading towards 
um, a future um, marriage or at, at least a commitment, living together, a strong, stable foundation. If it's in business, um, this is going to get off the ground and get off the ground very well, bringing you a lot of stability um, into your life. But that looks like it's coming in in um, maybe November, not in October because that is in the near future. So let me get a clarifying deck here. So in your past, you have the Four of Swords. It could be coming out of a dark night of the soul or just a time where you really had to rest, um, healing your mind, body, and soul after receiving the truth um, or enlightenment from the divine with that Ace of Swords he's laying on. Let's see. Yeah, temperance, the need to heal, the need to find balance. Um, for a lot of you, this could have been like a dark night of the soul, um, or it was, where you had to uh, take some time to rest and find that inner healing, find that balance, find that inner peace. This is uh, the process the divine puts you through to learn to heal what needed to be healed, um, to expose what needed to be um, addressed, and um, to give you the time and what you needed to fix those uh, buried wounds, those that heartache of the past, past lives, whatever have you. Uh, a lot of you, this dark night stemmed off of somebody leaving your life, um, needing to heal your mind, body, and soul after somebody walked away. Um, but you are becoming that, you know, the master of healing your emotions, finding that inner peace, that balance, that alchemy that the, the universe, um, you know, has given to you and coming out of the past in your element, in the upright, um, healthy, emotionally healed and ready to move forward. Um, finding balance, uh, finding somebody to balance out your life as far as, um, the love you have to give versus what you're getting back in. In your present moment, you are very patiently waiting for, it could be a Taurus, um, Virgo Capricorn, but you are focusing on nurturing and loving yourself while patiently waiting for somebody to come in um, to your life, whether it be somebody new or somebody of the past. You're just wanting a relationship um, that's loving and nurturing and stable and um, you are willing to wait however long it takes for that to come in. Uh, just really putting... Planting your seeds of intention um, and watching yourself grow, watching yourself blossom and bloom into that queen um, could have a Sagittarius um, coming in very quickly for you, um, coming in, kind of sweeping you off your feet. Be cautious. This person may just want um, sex and not really a solid foundation. In your hidden influences, the unseen um, you do, you could have a Virgo in your life that has really caused you some upset, or this is just somebody who has, uh, kind of retreated away from you. Um, this person is kind of affecting your decisions of taking that leap of faith or not. I feel like you've kind of been holding out for this person. I see you are like, you are manifesting something in wow you are manifesting something in um into your uh environment because with the seven of pen or seven of wands you've really had to fight for yourself you've had to defend yourself you've had to like something within your work that you've been doing whether it be you work with the divine you you know like you're a card reader or like something or with your intuition Somebody is challenging you. It could be another air, uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius, very heavy with the judgment here. But it's like they're challenging you in your current moment. And you're needing to defend yourself. Needing to defend your work as a light worker or a healer. And um, the divine has got your back on this. Let's get one more for this fool, actually. Why is this hidden? You could be waiting for somebody who retreated and they're um, unable to make that leap of faith because they have another person that they are currently um, dealing with that could need to go through a divorce. Or this is just the time frame of Libra could be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus. But this person has a choice to make in love and 
what you don't know is they could be leaving this person with that Libra card, uh, Justice card, and heading out single. But you're not quite aware of that yet. They, they um, have not reached out to you and told you that. Let's see why the let's get one more on the judgment here for you, fire signs. It's like you you're tired of the push and pull. Um, yeah, the three of cups. So you're wanting to be happy again. You're wanting to manifest not necessarily somebody back into your life, but you're wanting to manifest happiness again after the heartache that you've experienced. And you're going to. Um, I feel you're going to um, bring in somebody new or, you know, attract somebody new. This person with the un, with the influences that you're not sure of. It's like I see that like the constant tug and, you know, the push and pull between the two of you. They could be very magnetic to you. Um, you to them or them to you. But then it's like they drag you in just to push you away. Um, very inconsistent. Very unreliable. Um, and you're just, you're tired of fighting for this person's attention. You're tired of fighting for this person's time. And you're really healing from that and manifesting in something that's going to truly make you happy, um, Sagittarius. In the influence of others, they have secrets. They are, there's things that they are, they are not telling you. They are giving their attention to more than just you. Um, they could have a Cancer or Pisces Scorpio in their energy. I feel this is somebody on top of who they're married to or in a commitment with for some of you. Not all of you, but um, for all of you, there are secrets about how they're splitting their energy and who they're spending their time with. Yeah, um, that's why they have retreated because they are entertaining other people. Um, this most definitely could be a Cancer or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, like I was saying, but, um, they're moving very slow because they're not sure where their heart lies. They're not sure. They know that they love you, but they're not sure, um, who they want to or how they want to proceed forward. Um, what you should do is evaluate the offer that they're giving you. If it is not big enough, then it's time to walk away. They could not offer you very much because there is somebody else that they are dealing with. They could have children that they are uh, holding on to a relationship for. Could have two children, but um, they're just not able to give you any more than this. And for you, Sagittarius, I don't feel it's enough. I feel that you're going to move forward and find healing in this situation after some long and hard thinking about this. Why is this star here? Yeah, you know you have a choice to make and you're not taking this decision lightly and you're not going in blindly. You know what's going on intuitively and you can see it with your eyes. You know you're not the only person that they're entertaining. You know that there's more secrets that they're not telling you and that's why I feel you're truly going to move towards healing versus giving this person another chance because in your final outcome you are beating the devil you're beating the temptation you're beating the uh the toxicity of this person you're defeating the obsessive thoughts about getting back together with this person you're breaking the bond and the toxic cycles that this person has created in your life um, which is exactly what needed to happen look at how dark this hairpin is it's for a reason this person is tied and bound to a different relationship where greed or money or there's just something that is holding making them hold on to somebody else could be addictions as well and you're no longer having it you realize that this person you don't see this person getting out anytime soon because even if they beat the devil the hierophant has the whip um, it's like you don't see them ever getting out of that situation and I feel you're cutting your losses this month Sagittarius why the Hierophant and the Devil. Thank you. Yep. I feel you're walking away. Cutting your losses and getting out of here. Regaining your balance. Regaining your confidence. Regaining the... Uh, just the confidence in who you are. 
and what you deserve in this world. You are taking those empty cups, stacking them up and walking away, taking the only one that still has something in it and that's your own cup. Walking away from the confusion, the deceit, the lies, taking your cup and moving on. Um, de defeating this devil here, breaking the toxic cycle finally. Um, because you are receiving divine enlightenment, you're also receiving the truth of where those those Eight of Cups are going to lead you to your Ten of Cups. Um, you're setting out in search of those two cups because you have come out of this rest, this dark night of the soul, with the divine truth. You're rising from the ashes that this person burnt down you down to the ground with. Um, Saggy, so empowering, so amazing. Um, you are moving forward and going to find that emotional fulfillment. By you walking away, taking your own cup, it's going to bring in somebody who is meant to be on your path. Somebody that's going to share the amount of love that you have to give with equalness. Allowing your inner child and your, your inner child to heal and allowing your inner voice to lead you out of this situation that brought you nothing but heartache. Um, and it is going to bring in a true soulmate, a past life soulmate, somebody who you have shared many lifetimes with before. The universe sees that you have learned this karmic lesson that you were in. You're breaking the karmic cycles. You're walking away, and then in turn, it brings you in a true past life soulmate, making you so happy, 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 Sagittarius, releasing the heartache of the past and really planting seeds for your future finding the confidence and the success and the drive the passion to move forward finding who you really are and who you're really meant to be with with that emperor so all right Sagittarius I hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you want to join me on the Vimeo side I will be pulling uh your love spread and outcomes to this one where you'll go from here who's coming in for you and all that good stuff if not thank you for joining me here much love and appreciation goes out to you for your continuous support on my channel i'll see you guys next time god bless